Good morning students. Today again we are going to discuss the same chapter that is the weather and climate. In previous video we discussed a lot of thing about the elements of the uh, weather. Okay. There we discussed the, th the pressure, rainfall, uh, clouds cover, sunshine, so this uh, and the humidity. So this we already discussed. So today we have to discuss, we will be discussing over the what are the instruments are used to measure or to, uh, to measure this you can say the data. Okay. If you want to say first instrument name is uh, perhaps you can see on my screen that is the wind speed. So, to measure wind speed, we use the instrument that is the anemometer. Okay. So, an instrument which you can say which measures the wind speed. Okay. Wind speed means uh, winds velo wind velocity we can easily measure by it. Perhaps you can see on my screen that the, this is the instrument which are used to measure you can say the um, wind speed. Here you can say when it started to rotate, rotate so that time what happened the calculations is done by this area means this all the measures is recorded over there okay in this uh, way. Then come to the another instruments that is the uh, wind direction means from the wind, which direction uh, wind is blowing it is in western east to west, west to west, north to south, south to east. So, these are the these are these are measured by the one of the instruments that is called the wind vane ok. Wind vane a device that measure the direction of the wind. So, this one line is sufficient to know the instrument ok. So, these are the main thing we have to discuss the spins and the rod and I can see the points of which is the director direction from which the wind blows ok. So, this thing we have to understand. So, these are this is called the this is one of the instrument perhaps you can see this is the wind vane. So, wind direction is measured by which instrument that is the wind vane ok. So, this thing we have to memorize. Then if you want to air pressure ok, air pressure ok that is you can say consider that the atmospheric pressure can be measured by this instrument that is the android barometer ok. So, these are the you can say perhaps you can see that the instruments you can see the barometer used to measure the atmospheric pressure. So, this is the instrument by which we can measure the atmospheric pressure ok. So, pressure we can easily measure ok. So, so this this thing we have to so here it is it is given 96 means a 906 and this is always measured in the mb millibar okay so this thing we have to measure but new, but uh, science has developed so far so atmospheric uh, pressure can be measured by the use of the digital barometer okay digital previous one that was the android barometer and this is you can see the digital barometer okay digital a type of the barometer used to measure the atmospheric pressure so if you keep on the place so that time you can get the you can see the atmospheric pressure or the air pressure you can get by this okay this is digitally can be shown here you can 1024 or minimum, minimum 1005. So, these are the digitally can be you cannot do anything just you just keep on a place and easily you can understand easily this measurement will come ok this thing. So, atmospheric uh, pressure also measured by the, uh, uh, the so one of the instrument that is the barograph. So, this is the barograph here you can see the by this up downs in the you can see the per day per day up downs mean the uh, 7 days you can get Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again this is the Saturday. So, 7 days data how much it is updated ok that can be uh, that can be measured by this instrument that is called the you can see the barrow graph ok barrow graph. So, it is it is used for the daily purpose ok daily um, daily you can see the uh, air pressure or atmospheric pressure, but it is it can be used in the uh, you can see the for a week. So, here you can see the Sunday after that Monday Tuesday then come to the Saturday means the one one week total data that is the ups and down that can be measured by this barrow graph ok. So, this is the 
instrument by which it is it can be measured. If you visit in Alipur, so the Alipur you can see the our weather um, um, uh, you can see the um, weather uh, area. So, there you can find weather station there you can find this type of instrument already installed over there ok. Then another if you want to discuss that is the um, uh, to measure the duration of the sunshine ok, duration of the sunshine means um, the sun rises to the sunset. So, these are this instrument name is the Campbell, Campbell stock sunshine recorder. So, this instrument is look like this it employs the glass spheres of that the and you can say one card is has been played over there and due to this this um, this glass you can see the spheres that can you can say the intensity also can be measured the intensity means one a uh, paper has been kept in that area and due to this what happened these are you can see the burn ok this area is burned due to the sunlight this because sunlight accumulation of the sunlight directly fall down that paper and it is burned. So, on that basis we can that record it the uh, you can see the uh, sun uh, sunshine duration ok in this way you can make it. Then come to the uh, cloud heights means the height of the cloud in previous video we already record we already give we already discuss about the uh, cloud types of the clouds and their different type of uh, clouds ok. So, this can be in, uh, makes you can say the clino or clino or uh, silo meter ok silo meter. So, these are the instrument here you can say that we can this, this instrument automatically measure the height of the cloud and on the basis of that there they can also so, different. Then come to the evaporation rate. So, evaporation rate to measure the evaporation rate. So, we are also measure the evaporation pan this area ok pan. So, the daily this can be measured ok. Within this one wind vent or wind speed also you can see the uh, regarded. So, this is type of the evaporation gauge at the evaporation meter. So, that is also used. Then come to another instrument that is the ok psychrometer ok psychrometer is the you can see the hygrometer composed with the two similar uh, similar thermometers is kept over there and uh, this uh, the bulb of the one thermometer is kept wet and another is uh, and so that the that result evaporation ok in that area. So, these are the uh, these are the instrument that is the psychrometer ok that can measure the temperature as well as the humidity of that. Then another instrument that is the instrument of the Stephenson uh, screen. So, that by this screen you can say the dry bulb and the maximum and the minimum maximum and minimum temperature can be measured by this instrument ok and these are kept in the into the box. So, that is why it is the this box can easily measure uh, this instrument means the minimum and maximum thermometer can easily measure the minimum and maximum temperature of that area ok. So, these are the so these are the you can say the instrument another instrument if you want to uh, discuss that is it is it is mentioned uh, in your inner book perhaps you know that is the rain gauge ok that is the rain gauge if you want to discuss rain gauge is uh, measured rain gauge ok rain gauge is a instrument to measure for the rainfall of that area ok rainfall of that area. So, rainfall perhaps you know this is the rain gauge ok by this we can easily measure the rain you can say the rain of that area how much rain occur in that area we can easily measure ok. So, rain gauge is the instrument by which what we can do the rainfall of that area ok rainfall of that area. I think I made it clear. So, this is the instrument by which we can easily measure the rain of that area ok. So, this thing we have to memorize rain gauge, rain gauge is uh, instrument by which we can easily measure the rainfall of that area ok, rainfall. Uh, so, if you visit in any weather station ok near your area, so there you can get, there you can get the this type of instrument is already installed over there and by this they can easily measure the you can say the rain or uh, different components different components of the weather 
Okay. So, this thing you have to memorize one by one. So, uh, if you want to recap once or so um, this chapter, so again and again this was this video, okay. again and again you just uh, you are asked to watch this video and by this you can understand the what are the instrument are used for measuring the elements of the weather and climate. Okay. So, uh, I think this much for today, um, you are asked to again uh, watch this video again and again. Thank you for watching.